masseter is the cheek muscle. Let's see if they have it. This is the masseter. Let's mm -hmm. here. They didn't clear it that well. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Now we look at the neck muscles. This pad's good for the neck muscles. All right, you have the digastric. All right, the V on the underside um, of the neck. Oh this is the digastric. So good at right? so right. right. This is the mylohyoid. Right, right. Mm -hmm. right. That. right. So yeah. you have digastric, mylohyoid. This collar here is the sternomastoid. You see these flaps here? The outer one? The outer right. collar. Well, the outer is the sterno. And then you have the jugular vein. It should be more blue, but this is the Jugular vein. The jugular vein? No, it's just sort of the boundary between uh, the stern remember the sternomastoid and the clitomastoid. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So the sternomastoid is towards the middle and the clitomastoid is more on the lateral in the neck. Okay. So we have it on this now they didn't clear it well on this side. Well you can see the sternomastoid and the clido. The yeah. no one's closer in. The sterno is closer in and the clido is further out. Alright, so these are the sterno and clitomastoid, so the v-neck collar, right? Okay. And then you have the muscles, like this is the sternohyoid. That's uh, runs from the sternum to the hyoid bone. And on the side of it, you have the sternothyroid. Mm -hmm. See, it's attached to the larynx. Here's the larynx. Right. Here's the trachea. So the sternothyroid is attached to the thyroid cartilage of the larynx. And then next to that, you have the thyrohyoid. So you have the sternohyoid. Goes from the sternum to the hyoid from the sternum to the hyoid bone. You have the sternothyroid on the side on both sides, right? So here's on the other side. See, it's the sternothyroid on the other side. Here it is on this side. Then you have the little flap here is the thyrohyoid. Here's one, and here's the. Well, I think that ripped on the other side. The little tiny thing is the thyrohyoid. Yeah, this is it right here. This little loop here. Wait, where? I'm gonna see between the sternohyoid and the stern, the one after that, the sternothyroid. Right, the sternohyoid goes from the sternum to the hyoid bone. Right. The sternothyroid goes from the sternum right, to the right, larynx, right? right. And then the thyrohyoid is this little flap here. It goes from the thyroid cartilage of the larynx mm -hmm. to the hyoid bone. So it's just like a little little loop. Okay. So you have the sternothyroid, the thyrohyoid. On both sides of the neck, he has the other sternothyroid. Yeah. It really thyrohyoid makes so much sense. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so there's a logic to it. I mean, yeah. if you think about what the name is, like, you know, if you try to, like, break down the name, it makes sense. Well, they were the people who named them that, you know, make them easy to remember. It's not just like, you know... Yeah, some of the names don't make sense. Right. Anymore, right? <laughs> like the squeedius or something, right? All right, so you have the digastric, right, again? Right. The mylohyoid. The v-neck collar is the sternomastoid and the clitomastoid. All right, when you pull those aside, yeah. right down the midline of the body, you have the sternohyoid, you have the sternothyroid, then you have the thyrohyoid. Okay. Now we come to the back muscles. All right. We have the uh, the clavotrapezius, which is the muscle on the back of the neck. The Where acro. Let's right, see this. It's okay, the superficial right. the, 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 muscle. Yeah. Right. Yes. You have the acromial trapezius, and then you have the spinal trapezius. Those clavotrapezius. Chromiotrapezius, and so the arrow, the triangle, is the spinal trapezius. Right. You can see the latissimus dorsi here under the spinal trapezius. All of this is latissimus dorsi. Right, the whole side of the back here. And then you have the three deltoids. You have the clavodeltoid, which is like a flap that covers the, the arm. You have this triangle here. This is the acromiodeltoid, so it goes clavodeltoid. Chromio deltoid, spino deltoid, clavo deltoid, chromio deltoid, this triangle, and this sort of oval shape here is the spino deltoid. So, so it goes according to